Good morning, guys. So this morning we are gonna go grocery shopping. I have started coaching some people on creating a budget and my newest client spent $2,000 in the past two months at Starbucks. And she's convinced that she can only eat really well and healthy if she goes to Whole Foods. So I decided this week that I was going to show her how you can eat really healthy on a really low budget. So I decided to make a video out of it. So we are gonna head out to the grocery store in the snow, unfortunately. We're gonna head out to the grocery store and see what I come up with for a week for a family of four. I was convinced that they have to have like organic and healthy and healthy foods and that they can't get that if they don't go to Whole Foods. So my issue with that is that if you're spending $2,000 a month or every other month, thousand dollars a month on Starbucks like that's not organic those syrups are not organic they don't use organic milk trust me I know I worked there and those soy milks and oat milks and almond milks they are packed full of sugar my meal isn't gonna be like my grocery haul is not gonna be completely organic but I think I do a really nice job of creating a balance between like healthy and budget friendly friendly meals so and also we are gluten free uh this is a recent change just with some health issues we are exploring gluten free and so i will not be buying any gluten so like i will buy a loaf of bread and it's going to be the five dollar gluten free loaf of bread that i can get at liddell i'm not going to use any coupons i do have a coupon they, they're doing like a special where if you spend fifty dollars you get ten dollars off but i'm going to adjust for that in the final per person budget that i have for this week. i really like for grocery shopping aldi and liddell i literally don't go anywhere else unless there's like one-offs that i can't find in like these discount grocery stores this is i think that's how you say it is liddell i don't know I'm gonna have to wear my mask when I go in so I'm not going to be talking but I'm gonna show you guys like the really good deals that you can find in places like this one thing I always do always 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 before I go grocery shopping is I shop my pantry I shop my freezer and my fridge I look at what produce I have what meats I have and staples like rice and flour or beans or pasta and I literally make my meals around that I don't make a meal unless I'm using something that I already have for my pantry I will go into Pinterest and I'll type in like if I have chicken breast I'll put in chicken breast recipes and I'll see what comes up um, if I do have to buy something that's kind of one-off and I know I'm only gonna use like half of it and not the entire thing like this week I need heavy cream to make something I will go and look for another recipe that requires heavy cream and maybe that would have something that I have a lot of just so I can get the most out of I can stretch that dollar as much as I can one thing I always buy no matter what is eggs my son loves eggs I can feed him one egg for breakfast in the morning and he's good to go you can make a really good omelet and omelets are great because you can throw whatever produce you have like if you have some leftover cheese some tomatoes some spinach you can throw it in there and make a meal omelets are so delicious too and you can buy crust pre-made but it's actually pretty easy to make your own crust and you i'm sure you have everything that you would need to have a crust already on hand all right let's go in okay like i said we're at liddell and i got avocados for 69 cents which will go great for guacamole for our shrimp tacos tonight you can get great organic produce there and it's i think it's a little better than what you find at aldi a bag of organic pears that's a good price because it's like over a dollar at whole foods three dollars for grass-fed beef almond milk all of their milk and like cheese really well priced my son lives off of corn tortillas that's an awesome price and this is my cart super full i could not film as much as i wanted to while i was shopping because my landlord kept bothering me grand total was 43 dollars and 14 cents now that does include a ten dollar yeah i got a ten dollar off a fifty dollar purchase um, coupon so I spent 53 so I got $10 off so it's like $53 but in that I also spent $2 on parchment paper for my craft room so it was around $50 full weeks of groceries one thing that changed in my house this week is that my husband is now working from home so he doesn't have to eat out so we just plan on plan on making like pretty big dinners like doing four or five chicken breasts and then just having leftovers for lunch and that helps a lot and I'm making like a soup and we can eat off a soup for a few days. Yeah, I'm pretty proud that we were able to purchase organic, I even purchased some organic foods, 
whole foods. I didn't eat, buy a lot of processed foods. So I think it was a pretty good, pretty good day at the grocery store. This is the entire list of everything that we purchased this week. I just didn't give you the receipt because it takes the, that discount coupon I like a little bit off of every item and it gets kind of confusing. So this is everything that we had to buy. So one thing I always try to do is find money in my budget to go ahead and buy things that I'm not going to use this week. So like the hamburger meat, the beef, I'm not going to use that this week, but I bought it because it was only $3 for grass fed beef. That's a really good deal. So you're not going to see it on my weekly list. So after I grocery shop my pantry, I will go through and make meals, meal ideas that kind of fit what I already have in the pantry. And then I'll just go and buy things to fit in, in other spots. So like next week, I'm probably gonna make something with beef because I, I know I have that in the fridge. But that's just my strategy for staying within my budget and making sure I don't go over $15 per person per week. Okay, so what are we planning to eat this week? So breakfast every day, basically oatmeal and eggs. So that covers breakfast. And then for dinner tonight, or Monday, we're gonna have shrimp tacos, a raspberry tart, and chips and guacamole. We only have chips, and I got that avocado today for the guacamole. Tomorrow, or Tuesday, we're gonna have stuffed, our spinach stuffed chicken with potatoes and some leftover veggies from the fridge. We are going to have spaghetti and meatballs this week, and I have that gluten-free um, spaghetti to try, so we'll see how that goes. Um, Thursday, we're gonna have pineapple fried rice. So I'm gonna add some chicken and we have some leftover bacon I'm gonna put in there. I have some leftover peas from another recipe I've had before. I'm gonna throw the peas and carrots in there with the fried rice. And we already have soy sauce so we're, and rice, so we're good there. And then on Friday, I'm gonna make broccoli and cheddar soup. I have some leftover frozen broccoli in the fridge and I bought that bag of cheddar cheese and we have milk and heavy cream and stuff. So I will whip that up and then on Saturday, we're gonna have uh, turkey burgers because they have the turkey, just super cheap. It was like 275 a pound, I think. And we have some leftover fries in the fridge from, I have no idea what, but we wanna eat those. And then on Sunday, we are gonna have pizza and wings. I'm gonna get the like pizzas from Liddell that you can just grab, grab and go. They're $5.99. Um, we have some wings already in the fridge leftover from the other time. So that is another $6 for the pizza for Sunday. So if I add that in with the $53 and 14 cents, that puts me at 60. So 60 is divided by four people. That's $15 for an entire week's week of groceries, which I think is pretty good because we have a lot of meat. I know if we did vegetarian only and really stuck to like the Dave Ramsey rice and beans, it could be so much lower, but it's definitely possible to eat really well, eat whole foods and not spend a ton of money. So that's it guys. That's how I stick to a $15 a week budget per person in my family so that I can keep our grocery bill around $60 every single week. So now let us know what is your grocery hack? How do you save money? Where do you go buy your produce? What are some go-to meals that you do every single week that help you keep your budget your grocery budget low. Let us know down in the comments. And don't forget, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you enjoy videos about budgeting and business, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys here tomorrow. Bye-bye.